Greetings, everyone. This week's review will be Hard Boiled, starring Chai Yun Fat and directed by the greatest action movie director of all time, John Woo. Yeah, I can say John Woo can knock it out of the park when it comes to action movies. I mean, this Hard Boiled here, and that's a masterpiece. I mean, excellent story, excellent cast. And of course, the excellent action. And old John, old Johnny Woo could deliver on the action. And so, and I gotta say, it's a, a must masterpiece. I mean, Chinese fat was perfect for for Inspector Tequila. Who I say is Hong Kong's answer to to Dirty Harry. Hong Kong's answer to John McClane, and Hong Kong's answer to Martin Riggs, a dirty of the Lethal Weapon franchise. I mean. Out of an a quintessential action masterpiece, and highly influential for those that saw that that watched uh, sh my review on Shoot 'Em Up, which which I've which and which got me a request to do this to that to to, to do hard boiled. I mean, a lot of excellent scenes in that. I mean, the tea house shootout. The warehouse shootout, that scene where Alan, the undercover cop, not Tequila, shoots the guy in the library. And that's like some story of a cop go with a who declare, declares war on a on a, on various triad factions in a gun running scheme. And oh, and just dispenses justice all around the. The crime, the mean streets of Hong Kong, and a, and I'd say in my opinion, Chai and Fat's best action movie ever. Although, an excellent direct when it comes to acting and director pairs, Chai and Fat and John Woo go hand or as about as hand in hand as John Wayne and John Ford and Burt Reynolds and Hal Needham, and of course. Like I said, back to the old epic shootouts. I mean, come on. The tea house shootout. That's when the chief says at the end, give him a gun. He thinks he's Superman. And give him two. He thinks he's God. And, of course, the warehouse where it was like the... Between Gangster Uncle Hoy, if I'm pronouncing that right, and Johnny Wong, the arms dealer. Ooh, and that tea house... And that, and that warehouse shootout tools talked about some epic action on that where just like the convoy the motorcycles and the and the Corollas Oof. talk about talk about talk about some shit got getting real in this flick and of course tequila goes in like goes in like the like the Hong Kong Rambo he is and and tries to take out both sides then then the ambushing when with tequila and and Alan Dover, our deputy officer, who was undercover, who, but at the beginning you'd think as he's the, not giving out too much, but he'd give out that he's the, the ultimate bad guy, the, the, the villain, the main villain, because he, he's, a, he's also, because he was undercover as a hit man and all, and carried out various hits, and racked up a body count of his own. And of course, the old ambush scene when they're in, in can't remember whose boat it was, cause I remember it was Tequila's boat or or Alan's boat. Oof! Talk about the epic shootout there. I'm surprised. And it remind me of an article I read a year ago or a month ago where John Woo declined offers to do Marvel movies, and I'm just like, dude, you could have been perfect for you could have been perfect to direct a Punisher movie. I mean, come on! I would have loved to see your adaptation of Punisher. But back to Hard Boiled. Also, you can also mention that Inspector Kilo also, the, where Chang Fat, the character of the John Woo game Stranglehold, which kind of be like a so unofficial, sick, non canonical sequel. Good game, which is about like Hong Kong Max Payne in a way. But like. I like Hard Boiled, great one of the greatest action movies of all time. 
And I mean, I mean, it makes some of American movies look like Mr. Rogers. I mean, oof. And and also the, the mo one I actually thought was the more epic shootout, the hospital shootout. When they get when they find a when Tequila and Alice find a stock stockpile of guns under the hospital for some reason, <laughs> and they and then the gangsters just try to try to take over the hospital. The hospital like. Hans Gruber and Nakatomi Plaza and Die Hard. <laughs> That's for another review. And of course, you got, and of course, uh, how how that sounds when you got the ultimate villain known as Mad Dog. And, whew, and all those various encounters, like one one previous scene where he's gets a where he loses his eye, and then. And then of course you got the whole scene where got you know, back to the shootout where where Tequila just sing on just whoops takes on bad guy after bad guy after bad guy after bad guy. And I was like, oof, talk about some fancy shooting in that one in that one. And I mean that's like some equilibrium shit right there. Uh, woo! Even more badass is how he's how like uh, I was mentioning Shoot him up how hard boiled inspired that movie. I mean, come on. The whole holding the baby with one hand and and a nine millimeter in the other, and he's like bam, 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 bam. When he's helping out with his partner with his fellow officer and ex girlfriend and also excellent chemistry between those two. And and oh, we'll talk about and that's where the whole coded messages that went out throughout the movie, and the so saw relationship with it, with the healing and the chief. But back to the epic shootout. I mean, talk about one of the greatest shootouts in movie history. And I mean, I mean, yeah, Watch Mojo. You should have put that scene, that shootout in there listed in the, instead of the the tea house because the hospital one was epic. I mean. I mean, just take on bad guy after bad guy after bad guy. Then, then I, or Alan shows up. That undercover officer shows up to have his showdown with Mad Dog. And oof, that was someone one one sociopathic some bitch right there. I mean, he made. I mean, he just annihilated a whole path of hostages. You know, after Alan told him to get out of the way. You know, there's just a whole just before the final showdown. And of, of course, you gotta. And when it comes to gunplay in movies, you gotta. John Woo to do knocks out of the park. I mean, come on. With various movies like Face Off, Wind Talkers, and Hard Target, all of which will be reviewed in 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 the near future. So don't get too excited. So so keep excited. Be excited because that they're coming sometime. And, oof. Talk about talk about the epic end where when Tequila shoots the dude in the in the eye, and I tell you the eye, right in the eye. I mean, he knocks that knocks that sucker out the park. And the old final shootout the showdown at the end when he takes on the Takes on the last man, kind of like you know action movie tropes of the main villain goes is the one last one to die. And like not like in the games where you can just shoot this one villain and you just go oh and never wave a wave a henchman. Oh, I say hard boiled. You damn right it's getting a five out of five. The way I described it, described this review. It may. I mean, don't call yourself an action fan until you see this one. Because Carboil, Greatest Masterpiece, and like I mentioned before, John Woo and Chiang Fat with movies like A Better Tomorrow and The Killer, which will be reviewed. 
too. Got or about or about like about like Wayne and Ford and Reynolds and Needham. Overall, like I just said, you damn right it's a five out of five. Enjoy people.